Hello, Sue here from Sue's Dog Rob Life Garden today and it's the 8th of uh, April 2022 and I've just come out into the polytunnel, I've just let the chickens out and I just want to show you what I did yesterday. I didn't film yesterday, the weather was absolutely hammering it down with hailstones. Um, yeah, and I was in the polytunnel in the morning when that was happening and um, yeah, so I didn't do anything else. Um, yeah, I don't think I've done anything else. Yeah. Anyway, I just want to show you what I did yesterday inside the polytunnel while, while it was hammering it down and I'll give you a quick tour of what's growing. Okay, I just want to show you what I did yesterday. So what I've done is I've moved on, see on this table, so there's loads more stuff on here now. So what I did was I moved on all of the cow the broccoli and some cabbages and stuff over onto this table not so much this table but this one down here I put on all of the oh sorry just typical as soon as I start filming the planes start going over right so I moved on the broccoli, the cow, and the broccoli onto this table. These, I don't know about these cauliflowers, whether they're going to be all right. I'm going to uh, do another load of cauliflower anyway. Um, and I'll just give you a quick tour of the, so you can just see what's going on in here. So we've got the broccoli is now growing, I'm getting some more heads here. So that's good. All these trees are starting to grow. Oh, by the way, I just yesterday, on my cherry tree, it had this one growing lower down and this one. And so what I did was I cut them off and I've just planted them inside here with these um, oh, what are they, crab apple trees, which I'm going to get in the garden. Um, and I just thought we'll see if they grow. So if, we, if they do, we'll have two more cherry trees. And they're stellar, those cherry trees. Quickly look um, at these flowers here. So look at that, look at that unusual tulip, really unusual that one isn't it, wow, look at them, so they're still coming out, I'm not sure what these are, they're very sort of leafy, I think, I don't know what they are, I can't remember now because um, obviously I didn't keep all the labels for all the bulbs that I had, so I just sort of threw them in. I've got a load of summer bulbs to put in next. So that's going to have to go in next. Anyway, let me show you what I did yesterday. So in this bag, it's only half full of compost. But I put in three Charlotte potatoes. So what I've done is I've, I've covered them up with soil. And then once I see the leaves start growing through, I'll put another thin layer of compost. And then, or a layer of bedding. Um, I was going to put a layer of bedding first, but the weather was so awful yesterday, I couldn't even get round to go and get the bedding out of the chicken house, so uh, I just used compost. Um, so I actually got the three Charlotte potatoes in there. So that's our little experiment we're going to do. And the next experiment I want to do is with the carrots. So I want to get one of these bags out, or a bucket, that bucket there will do, and um, just put carrots inside here and see if they work um so yesterday what i did also was i planted in the rest of my peas which are sugar snap peas so i've planted them in between the uh, other peas so these all down here are peas these are all peas so there's 10 from this label here down this side these are all peas and then in between here I put sugar snap peas but also down here these are mainly these are mainly sweet peas but I've also put a couple of sugar snap peas in here that I had so we've now got all our peas strung up down the middle beds and so this one's really getting big look and so what I want to do next is I'm going to put some string going across that way just so they've got something else to latch onto as they're growing up. 
And then what I normally do, God, it's really hot in here now. The sun's shining in here. Oh, one minute was really cold, now it's really hot. Can't win with this weather this these days. Quick look at the tulips. Look how marvellous they are. They're really big. Look how big these are. And these are still going. Still going. This beautiful pinky colour. Wow, I've never grown tulips before. This is the first time I've ever grown a tulip, by the way. And I think I'm doing rather well. All I did was put them in a bag of compost. <laughs> they like these bags. I think these bags are a good idea. Because they, they let the um, excess water out. So they're pretty good. And then we've got our... Oh, I've got to open this door a minute. We've got our um, scarlet whatever beans here. So we're going to be putting them down the sides here. See this? Down the sides, down the sides. So down the sides. Each side... Because last year I had the beans in the middle and then each side I had I had some French beans here along this side. So we're going to do it slightly differently this year and we're going to make sure that we've got both sides, this side and this side. This side I had cucumbers last year so we need to try and do some more cucumbers. Okay, I'll show you what I sowed. So everything in here is coming on well. Oh yeah, they're beans. Beans, peas. Oh, so they're three French beans and the rest are peas, I think. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, peas and beans. So we've got more peas to go in. I thought we wanted to have some for the pea tops. Oh, blimey, I'm boiling now. I've got too many clothes on. Oh, anyway, let's just have a quick, quick look here and see if anything's popping up. Yeah, these are all sort of germinating now, all these things back here, the coriander, uh, the courgettes that I put in the other day. Oh, look, there's one there starting to come up. Some of these savoy cabbage are starting to come up. These are growing. I definitely, delphinium's definitely not growing. They're not going to grow. Uh, those runner beans, that one there, they, these here, no, they're not growing. Anyway, in here we have, I sowed this yesterday, Tuscany mixed salad. So we put a load of salad in here yesterday. So that's the mixed salad. So there we are. And the verbena is growing. Just as well I covered this up because I think there was a frost last night. Um, the hot chilli peppers, nothing happening there yet. The astro, astros, no. Then we got the cucumbers, no. The aubergines, no. Money maker tomatoes, no. But then the weather has changed and it's got really cold. These are the leeks, they are growing. The greyhound cabbage are growing. Then yesterday I also sowed some mustergians, some wild red poppies, some candy tuft. Oh, I took out all of the... Um, the Livingston daisies, not Mickelson daisies, and I've scattered them around everywhere. Oh, and then I found this French bean was in amongst uh, the peas that I put inside here. Here are some Livingston daisies in here that I've potted on. We've also potted on, we've also sowed baby blue pumpkins, Jappy little pumpkins. Um, we've we've moved on the Sweet Williams. So I've potted all them up. Um, also in here, our lobelia, which we sowed. Oh yes, and under them too, there. Hold on, let me just put that on there. Any... Oh, careful, Sue. Sorry. Under here, we've also sowed some butternut squash hunters one and some spaghetti squash. So there are all the squashes and the pumpkins that we're going to grow this year. Hopefully we'll get some, that'd be cool. So, yesterday I sowed tons of stuff, brought out a load more seeds out here, and I just realised I've got millions of seeds. So what I need to do next is, I noticed I haven't sowed, I sowed them courgettes, but I've got some yellow ones I bought. Let me see if they're in my box here. Oh, I don't think they're in here. 
So these are, oh, I don't think they're in here. No. Oh, we've got some cornflowers to sow. These cornflowers, they're pretty, aren't they? Oh, we've got loads of seeds to sow. We need to get on with it. Still got, see these seeds I bought? These were really expensive. And you only got 20 of these seeds. Cool Wave Viola. I really don't want to lose any, but I'm going to sow these. Um, and what else did I buy? Some other, oh, these are the White Lady Swiss Giant Pansies. God, it is so hot in here. I'm going to have to take my coat off. I've just me. decided to sit down because I'm still feeling a bit weary. Whew, especially when I do a few jobs. <laughs> anyway, look at that beautiful little tree there. I'm not sure what that one is there. Oh, it's really growing nicely. All the trees are growing. I really like that one there. I want to grow some up here because I want to keep an eye on them. But, um... I'm going to have to put some of them in the main part of the garden, I think. I need to get them in the ground this year. Resist. I had to do some more seeds. So, uh, over here, I've just sowed... Oh, I love these morning glory. But this year, what I'm going to do, because they didn't actually come into flower last year in the polytunnel, so I'm actually going to grow them outside because they're a, like a tall climbing plant. Um, so I'm going to find somewhere for them to plant grow up there's plenty of uh, shrubs and bushes around here for them to grow up I won't put up a special structure for them I'll just let them ramble and grow up something might plant them next to the trees um, over the other side of the garden uh, over there see there's like a fence I could just put some in a pot and let them grow along the fence there I mean there's plenty of places for things to grow I don't have to make special structures but this year I will not have them in the in the polytunnel these morning glory they're the beautiful blue bell flowers really really beautiful but i didn't actually get any flowers they started to come into flower but then the way it got really late in the year and they just died so i'm sowing them earlier this year and i'm going to put them out quite quickly once they come to a reasonable size after the frost okay and in here in this row i've sowed some of these cauliflowers the f1 um what are they called clap clapton clapton so we've we've put a few seeds in here so we're sowing one row of those and then i've got some california poppies in here on this side and then in here oh yeah these are those lunary i'm gonna have to look these up what they are they're a biannual so this year that means that you let them grow, become a plant, and then you plant them out in the autumn and they flower next year. So these are a long-term plant for the garden. And in here we've got our, these yellow courgettes that like, oh, I forgot what they're called, they're called um, Kalinia, no, Gold, Goldi, Goldina, Goldina. Anyway, so we planted some some of those in here and in here we've actually planted those organ organic melons so we've planted some some in here and some in here i think there's two in here and two in here then i've got some peas these are called wanda and they're a large pea um and i've filled this up with peas so that we can use it for pea tops or we can grow them on as peas I just love peas. I just want to grow lots of peas this year. Peas and beans, like short beans. In here we've got some sage and some thyme. So I've planted half this with sage and half... Oh, I did put a stick down. <laughs> and half with thyme. I do love and it. look how beautiful it is. I mean, I love this display here. With all my different mints. My, they just look so pretty with all the tulips and everything. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. Um, yeah, and I just sowed another lot of rockets directly into the bed. So over here, there's a couple of gaps. So I've sowed some rocket along here and along here. I've just got to label it. This is my perpetual spinach that I, that's growing now. Look at that. So I'm growing another load of spinach. And with this spinach, we're probably uh, 
eat a lot more, more, more spinach. I'm going to make a lot more spinach dishes. A lot more things with spinach in. Spinach is really good for you. And we've got spinach here, which I use for the salad. So I love this spinach. I just come in here, pick some leaf, put it on our salad. And we've also got plantain. Is it plantain? Or, oh, I forgot what it's called now. These lemony leaves. They're really, really good for you too, full of different vitamins and minerals. I won't go through everything with you because I can't remember. And I can't remember what they are actually, but I know they're really good for you. And I pl planted everything deliberately. Anyway, so I'll just show you these. So these are my... These are those um, radish, the white radish. Look how big they are. And they're really lovely in salad. They've got a really nice mild taste. They're not like really hot, these ones. And there we are. Oh, I think I pulled that one out too soon. But the tops, you can either make a radish soup with them, or as I've got chickens, I give the tops to the chickens because um, it's nice to give them some greenery. And seems as they can't really go out because of bird flu. Um, I throw it over the gate for them in their runs and they can have some nice radish. So we've been eating these radish uh, for about two months now. We've been having radish out of here. So it's starting to come to an end now. See, this side I want to clear because what's going to go in this side next are the beans. So I've got a load of strings up here on this side. So all the beans I've got in the polytunnel are going to go down this side. So I'm going to clear this bit and we're going to put beans in. And then round the outside of the beans, once I put the beans in, round the outside of the beans we'll put more salad in, like that one. See that salad I bought from the supermarket? That was one of those live salads that you can buy. And I thought, you know what, it costs one fifty actually, that salad. So I thought, I'm not going to waste it, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to keep growing from it, which we have. And I'm just picking the outside leaves off and we're eating them in with the rest of the salad that I've actually got. So we've got loads of salad in here. I don't like the leaves of um, the radish to eat really, I don't like the taste of them. Um, they're, they're nice in, in probably in a stew or something. But I have plenty of other leafy stuff. I can eat all the leaves off my broccoli. You don't have to just eat the flowers. You can eat all the leaves. The broccoli here. Mm, and how's the broccoli doing outside, do you think? I might go and have a quick look. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the radish. There we are. So it's all tidy in here. I'm running out of compost. That's all the compost I've got again. I think we might buy a massive bag again. Because I want to, on the outside I'll show you. Oh, it's beautiful now, the sun's shining. It's actually not cold for a minute. Have a look here. What's going on here? We've got some little flowers here on our pink blueberry. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Oh, this is flowering now. Look, I love these. These are nice, aren't they? I'm getting distracted. Just want to have a quick look out here. Uh, there's all our garlics growing. It's got a bit battered in the wind and birds walking all over it. But you don't eat the top bits. You usually eat underneath. The celery. Celery's growing. Just keep picking at it. That's been out here all year. I put it inside for the harsh winter and then I took it out last month. And it's been outside since. Uh, yeah, I noticed a couple of these plants have fallen over in the wind. So, hmm, damn, fell over, look. So, I don't know if they are. I think they are broccoli. I don't know. Or are they sweet? But they seem to have gone really big. I do know these are sweet because I did plant them as sweet. Mm, they should be ready now. I don't know. I'm just going to leave them. I might have to just stake these ones or just take them out. I don't know. I might just feed them to chickens. <laughs> Start again. Anyway, 
So that's the bed we're going to put the kale in and the broccoli rub. It's all going to go out here. So that's what's going to happen there. Oh, we've got little bubbles there. Hello. Oh, look at you. Hello, cutie pie. Oh, look, little baby cutie. Oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Hello, baby. Oh. Mummy and Vano. Oh, I miss Anno. I really miss Anno. Hello, baby. Are you looking at me? You're very cute, I must say. You're a very cute little lambsy. He's eating a stick. Mm? Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Anyway, let me just show you. What was I going to show you? Mm, broccoli? I don't know. I not remember now. I'm going to look at the broccoli. Whoopsie, I got scared. What are you doing in there? <laughs> ah, here's the broccoli here. So this is purple sprouting broccoli. Oh, this really needs weeding. <laughs> yep, it's growing. God, this has been in here all year. Well, that's gone to flower. These are the um, Brussels sprouts. Doesn't it take a long time to grow a bit of broccoli? Well, it's months. Months and months. <laughs> so I appreciate things when you have to grow it. You have to grow your own food, you have to appreciate everything about it because it takes so long to grow and when you go to the shop you don't appreciate how long food takes to grow mass produced so I wonder they have to use loads of chemicals because mine's an organic garden I don't use any chemicals on my plants as far as I can make it organic it's quite difficult since they spray the skies every day with chemicals which rain down all over us and all over our land so it's quite difficult to do organic gardening anyway look at this oh these are the parsnips these are the parsnips i'm hoping that we get some i will put these in the garden and that for Sivia. The leaves are starting to come out now. The flowers have been out. Yeah, anyway, just, I'm getting distracted. Yeah, anyway, that's not what I came out here for. Oh, I don't know, but oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this radish here. I just want to show you this one. That's boiled. <laughs> Big radish. It's a good radish, isn't it? I spotted that out the corner of my eye. These ones aren't quite done yet, these ones over the other side. That red one there. Yeah, some of these red ones aren't quite cooked yet. Oh, we'll just sow some more radish. I've got a load more. I just spilt some, didn't I? But anyway, here we go. So, we'll take all them indoors. That's our little harvest today. Radish. So I'll make a nice radish soup, I think. Anyway, thank you for watching. So, I'll see you I'm just going to keep sowing seeds every week. Um, so yesterday I sowed loads of seeds. And then next week I'll sow another load. And I will have to sow these beautiful melons. And these courgettes, which I might do today. <laughs> just because I want to get them going. I think with the melons I need to start them sooner so I'm only going to grow this melon this year I did try growing a variety of melons last year for some seeds I got but a lot of them didn't work so I'm just going to grow these ones which are the small melons not not like great big ones so I'm going to actually try again this year this polytunnel does get really lovely and warm and it is the ideal sort of spot I mean you get the sun all day so the sun's up here right now, over here, uh, and it comes round here, 
and it sets over there but so all day long the polytunnel gets sun um, and even when the sun goes over that way behind the trees it still comes through and in around the front so at the moment the whole of the polytunnel has got the sun and then it gets sort of dappled sun later in the day but it's warm in here all day long which is probably why these plants absolutely adore it in here and I do I love being in here because even though it's not that warm outside I mean like yesterday it was belting down with house stones and really 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 noisy and scary and windy it was amazing in here I just spent like I think two and a half three hours in here doing the seeds and putting the just pottering around putting in the uh, peas and didn't really tidy it up much um, Oh, look at the watercress. Oh, I'll turn the camera around, so it's very hard for me to show you this way around. And I think that the, um, I think these are glow artichokes. I really don't know what these are. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know if they, oh, I don't know. A scarlet glow radish oh is that what they are um, I don't know you know what I don't know what I put in the garden sometimes I put labels on and then sometimes the labels just get knocked and get and then I don't know what the plant is until it grows and then I think oh that's what that is and the other day over here I could have sworn that my my other um rhubarb was coming up it started to grow and now it's disappeared i don't understand what's going on with that but i did buy a second rhubarb now because i don't know i don't know where the crown's gone um, unless it's rotted away i don't know anyway i'm not very good with rhubarb but i've I grew rhubarb around the other side of my garden once and completely disappeared don't know where it went gone gone so anyway i've got another rhubarb now so we're gonna make sure that one's all right <sighs> anyway so what am i gonna do today oh, i've got to go and do some paperwork uh, oh i've got to go and do that right now and then i was going to paint some wood don't think i'm actually getting up too much out in the garden today i just wanted to do a little video basically to show you what i did out here yesterday with all my new seeds that I've put on the table. Oh yeah, I'm gonna see if I've got any more delphiniums, delphinium seeds, because them ones didn't grow. I planted them on the third of the second, and they they should have germinated by now, but they haven't, so I don't think they're gonna germinate. In that. Never mind. And those geranium seeds, I think I might have sowed them too early. They've not germinated. I might get some more geranium seeds because last year I grew geraniums really well in with from seed in here. So I think I might order some more geranium seeds. Fennel. I want fennel. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, please leave, leave me a like and a comment and, and let me know what you're growing and what, what's what do you think of my polytunnel? Do you like my polytunnel? I made it like really pretty um, with the way we laid out the beds and just the fact that I can have loads of displays of flowers because I actually love flowers so it's not just all about food. A lot of the flowers like the marigolds and stuff they're really good for pollinate you know in bringing in the pollinators and to, to um, pollinate a lot of these plants that are going to have flowers on like all of the uh, courgettes well, I'm not growing courgettes in here this year cucumbers um, anything that needs to germ oh, the strawberries under the table I've got loads and loads of strawberries um, that I'm growing inside the polytunnel um, so I need the pollinators to you know pollinate the strawberry plants so that I can get strawberries this year and there's, there's so many plants in here that need uh, pollinators. So, anyway, 
thank you for watching i'll see you again soon in the next video waffle 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 i go on and on and on and on and on thank you for watching please give me a like and a thumbs up and let me know what you're growing thank you see you again soon bye for now bye